Okay, so uh, I've got a switch kit, uh, but there are other e-bike conversion kits on the market. I really like the switch kit in the way that it works with the battery and the bag and, and just the ease of fitting. But not everybody's found it easy to fit uh, because there are so many different types of bikes out there. Um, and one of the biggest problems has definitely been fitting the pedal assist sensor. Um, this, because cranks can vary so much and the, and the gap between the crank arm and the frame uh, can be so different, lots of people have come up with lots of different ways. And so I'll show you some of those ways here, which most of these come from the Switch Facebook forum. Uh, but if I've searched through Google Images and seen uh, and found other ways of doing it, I'll put them all up on the screen now. Many people have found that they don't have enough space to easily fit the PAS disc. Others have found that they have either not enough room for the pedal sensor or too much distance from the PAS disc. Some great solutions are seen in the Switch How to Fit My Kit forum. Sugru plays a big part. People have ground crank arms down, changed crank arms, cut the PAS disc down and incorporated the PAS disc into the crank mechanism. For the PAS sensor you can make it more proud with Sugru, wood or a piece of inner tube. To make it slimmer, you can remove the hinge and grind off the lugs. Many, including myself, have struggled to separate the two halves of the PAS disc. This seems to be a favoured method. Here are some more images showing the solutions people have found. So let's get over to uh, another question which uh, on the forums, I can't remember if I got asked this directly or if I just read it, uh, someone had asked someone else on the forums. Uh, it was about putting the pedal assist sensor uh, and the pedal assist sensor has one side that, that works with the mechanism uh, and it's the flush side. So the one with the ridge uh, is not the side to face the pedal sensor. Uh, it's this side here, so when it's flush, and it actually says working surface. So uh, in the forums it came up that um, can you use this on the same side as the chain wheel? Now it's not going to work on this bike because there is no gap. On my son's bike there is enough gap, so what I thought I'd do is leave the switch kit on this bike, um, but then pop this on and try the pedal assist sensor in on different angles and uh, different orientations and see if I can get it to work and see what's most effective. Okay, so there wasn't enough room on my son's bike uh, between the, uh, the bottom bracket and the crank to put the pedal assist sensor. So what I've done is made a little mock up here so I can test the different angles and see what drives the wheel. So let's fit the pedal assist sensor and just slot that on and then pop that back on again. So you can see here I've got the drive side inwards, which would be where the frame is. And you can see there's plenty of room here between the crank. But what a lot of people are thinking of doing is actually attaching the pedal assist sensor to the inside of the crank. Um, so however you're going to do that, Sugru or screws or whatever. Um, but uh, in my case, obviously I'm not worried because this is just to test it. And that's not straight, but it's straight enough. Bye. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I've got to take uh, I've got to take this part off my Kona. Uh, it's been sugrued on uh, the pedal assist sensor. This is sugru. I'll put a link in the description. It's brilliant stuff. I've still got one left, um, so I'm gonna have to order some more. Polymorph is another good way of securing. This is uh, you put this in boiling water, and uh, it uh, it becomes malleable, and uh, you form it around something, and then. When it cools, it grows to a hard plastic. So whereas Sugaru is like a rubber, uh, this is a, a sort of hard plastic. But I don't think it sticks quite as well to devices as Sugaru does. But it does, if you're wrapping it around something, it performs uh, a hard cover. So that's that. Right, so I've already cut into this either side. And so I can just pull this pedal assist sensor out. Uh, you can see like that. Just got to detach it. From the frame. The reason I'm leaving it on my Kona is I'm not really taking it off my Kona. Uh, it's just to do this part of the video because we're forecast some good weather next week. 
Right, is that going to be enough? No, I need a bit more than that. Uh, yeah, next week I think Monday's supposed to be nice, uh, and I'd really quite to like like to go out on my Kona and and try and do something on that. Uh, sort of go out and uh, in the in the fields and hills and stuff and mess about on that. Right, so here's my pedal assist sensor. Let's thread that through there. I'm going to leave the <laughs> I'm going to leave the Suga on there. There's two lots at the moment. There will be three quite soon. Okay, so there was a question on the forums about running the pedal assist sensor on the chain wheel side of the crank, and I'm going to try and simulate that to see if that works. Uh, the switch manual advises that you put it on the left hand side, uh, and I guess that's because that's what the pedal assist uh, sensor is supposed to work on. So if I, so I've got it on the crank side now, uh, and I can turn it clockwise, and you can see that the light doesn't illuminate. But if I turn it anti-clockwise. You can see, so this would be pedaling backwards. You can see the light uh, comes on. I think you can see the light comes on from that, but you can see the wheels turning anyway, um, so you know it's working. Uh, I thought that you, you could get around with this by maybe putting it underneath, um, but whatever you do, whatever orientation uh, you try, it doesn't, it doesn't work when the crank is going in a forward direction. Um, so there is a setting on the switch computer that is paddle assist uh, so press plus and minus and press plus and minus again press up, 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 paddle assist select that. So run forward. So there's a run backwards for the paddle assist sensor. So if I turn that on and I've stored that in now and just to show that I've stored that, if I turn that on again, press and hold plus and minus, press and hold plus and minus, press up, 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 press the circle, you can see it says run backwards. So it's on run backwards, so you'd think that that would mean that if the crank was turning, or I would think, you might not think that, uh, I would think that, that uh, if the crank was turning in the uh, opposite direction as to what it was, before that it would work. But if I turn it clockwise, nothing happens. If I turn it backwards, it lights up, but it doesn't turn the wheel. Now, whether there's another setting on the computer to change for that, but that is lighting up just the same as it was before, but the wheel isn't going round. So I'm going to turn that off because I've tried loads of different orientations of this and, and I can't get it to work in that mode. So maybe it's designed for a pedal assist sensor that's designed to be on the other side. So I'm just going to change the computer back to run pedal assist, run forward and store that in. Turn it off, turn it on again. Okay, so now it's set as it would be as default. So if I turn this crank backwards, now if it was on, if it was the other way around, so the crank arm was over this side uh, and this was on the left hand side of the bike, which is how it is in the switch kit. Uh, you can see that turning the pedals forward, uh, so driving yourself forward, works this fine. Now I found a black spot on my pedal assist sensor, and this probably is just to do with the design or the physics or whatever, um, but if I have it at this angle, around about flat, uh, it doesn't seem to work. Now, if I turn it back slightly, you can see that it comes on. And I can go all the way around at various different angles. So what this means is that this can be perfectly lined up with the uh, magnetic sensor. It doesn't mean that it's going to drive your wheel around. So what you need to make sure is when is this angle is very important. So wherever it is around, I mean I can have it underneath if I want. There you go. Now you might notice that I've got this the wrong way around, and uh, that's because I was testing it earlier on. So this, the pedal assist sensor does work both ways around. So let's put it the right way around. Uh, it, it didn't affect the other test before because it, it's th this is just a plastic disc with magnets on it. It doesn't seem to matter what way round it is, but obviously there's a ridge here. 
to probably make it stronger, um, but also then they give you a smooth side so you know that that's the side that goes next to the pedal assist sensor because you don't want anything knocking or rubbing or anything like that. You want as much room as you can have in there. So if I turn this, what would be forwards, here you go, so pedal assist sensor, move it around. and just play around with angles. There are lots of angles that it will work, so it will work all the way around, but you'll just find that there may be the odd angle, and mine is probably that, where I can make it not work. That coincidentally happened to be the angle that I first fit this pedal assist sensor on my Kona, um, and so I sugared it on, I did it twice, uh, and it didn't work, even though it looks perfectly fine, but it just needs a little bit of a twist and then it will work. So you just need to make sure before you glue anything in place, uh, it doesn't matter, a lot of the angles will work, so you know with your various tubes and things will work, um, but uh, as we found from this test, uh, I think you need a different pedal assist sensor if you want the travel to be running in the different direction. It, it isn't just a matter of changing it on the computer, it probably is changing it on the computer and buying one that needs to be on the uh, chain wheel side of your bike. Uh, so I hope this helps anyway. Uh, I was interested doing it. I'm gonna put this back on my Kona now because I haven't finished playing around with that and it's good weather come Monday, so I'm gonna be out riding it around in the fields and things. Um, but uh, thanks very much for watching. Please watch all my other videos. Uh, I've got a, an electric bike playlist on YouTube and I'll put a link in the description uh, and I've got loads more builds to do. I would really like to buy a 20 inch wheel that's gonna be compatible with my kit uh, from Switch because I've got a, a folding bike and a BMX to try it on. But, uh, but we'll see what happens. Obviously they're a bit snowed under at the moment. But uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.